everyone, my name is Lin and I'm a data scientist here at Wayfair. Today, I'd like to tell you how we measure price effect here. As an e-commerce company, we have tens of millions of products provided in our catalog and we need a price for every one of them. So it's very important for us to make sure that our pricing strategy is optimal. But it's not a trivial thing to do. So I'd like to introduce you a couple of ways that we actually do that. So the first way is regression, or you would say the most classic way to do that. And you, maybe you know that from textbook of economics, the Y here can stand for the demand, the revenue, or other business metrics we care about. And the X here stand for the price effect. And we also want to control for the other factors here, like the time, or the catalog, or the what supplier it is, blah, blah, blah. And we run this regression, and bam, we solve this problem. But the thing is that it is really hard to capture all the complex interactive with all the factors in our real world. So that's why we can use a solution called instrumental variable. By instrumental variable, you can see this little graph here. This is price, and of course, it will impact our demand. And we want to find the Z variable here, which will impact the price, but doesn't have any correlation with the demand. So we introduce that in our model so that we can get rid of the fact that X is correlated with other factors. This is a very smart way to solve this problem, but usually it's very, very hard to find a good instrumental variable. That brings you to the second machine learning method. So what's the advantage? <laughs> so what's the advantage of machine learning model? It is complex, it's like a black box here. We can put basically everything we want here and see we can put price, we can put time, we can put the product itself, anything. We don't care whether it's correlated with each other or not. We just throw a lot of things in that. And it will try to find a smart way to give us the amount that we care about. So basically, you can see this is the black box model. And we have a really good prediction model. That's the good side of the machine learning part. But on the downside, we don't know what's going on in that box. So it's really hard to, for us to find a good framework for causal inference to try to distangle this one effect from price and how it is impacting our demand. So we have a couple of ways like a partial dependence balls and deep IV, blah, blah, blah. So that is all methodologies for us to try to look into this black box of machine learning and understand how our price is impacting our pricing. Oh, sorry, uh, our price is impacting our demand. So this is the second way. But you say, hey, this sounds also a little bit, you know, not real. How about a really perfect controlled environment that would bring you the third way, a price experiment. So ideally, we can have two identical group and one of them is called treatment where we give a certain price and treatment. And the other one, even though it's like really similar with the treatment group, we give nothing to it and leave it like that. And we give uh, the same same time range and leave it like that so all the other factors will be controlled and only difference between treatment group and control group is whether we have the price impact uh, the price treatment and we use a methodology called diff in diff so basically we want to say hey what is the difference that the treatment itself brings up after like a two weeks, four weeks, or six weeks experiment? And then we will know what is the price effect itself. This is almost the most perfect way that you can find out. But again, it also have a downside that is really expensive and it's really hard to find two identical treatment and control group. So this is basically the things that we do here to mirror the price effect. So, thanks for watching. Please come back for more Explainer videos.